people make assumptions about what I can, can and can't do and what I'm capable of. Only on five, beyond the bullying, tonight one woman says she is living proof that childhood bullying can have long-lasting effects. And she's on a mission to empower kids across the country. News Channel 5's Dan Corcoran is in Lake Park to explain. Well, we had the chance to meet a pretty incredible woman here at this gallery in Lake Park tonight. As a kid, she says she dealt with physical and verbal bullying, among many other difficult challenges. Out. Ask 34 year old Jennifer Adams how she thinks the rest of the world sees her. I'm a redhead <laughs> and yes, you are. I was born with partial limbs. Her arms and legs never fully developed in the womb. She says when she was younger, looking like this and using a wheelchair made her a prime target for bullies. And I know how that feels to have your self esteem sort of torn down and uh, to feel insecure about yourself because there's a daily inundation. Name calling, verbal abuse, even physical confrontations, all through her adolescent years. You're going to school in a war zone, is how I felt. And that scenario can be found just about everywhere, in every school, every day. The Palm Beach County School District, for instance, has reported thousands of bullying incidents in recent years. Jennifer is determined to be part of the solution. I'm not going to quit. She's a motivational speaker and an author now, touring the nation with her story of survival and inspiration. Oh, and she's also the reigning queen of Miss Wheelchair America. I like blowing people's minds with what I'm able to do. Jennifer may need help with the small things, like fixing that red hair of hers, but she says she's proof that there is life beyond the bullying. What was the advice you give to yourself back then? I would say it's going to get better. And Jennifer says when it comes to preventing and helping a bullying situation with your kids, she says step one is simple. Do not avoid the topic. Certainly tackle it and talk about it right away. In Lake Park, I'm Dan Corcoran, WPTV News Channel 5.